good afternoon, folks. I hope you are all doing well on this wonderful, wonderful, very hot and muggy Florida afternoon if you are from the state. As you may know, my name is Marla Tori, and I am the founder of the Funky Spork platform. So the purpose of the Funky Spork is to develop original, delicious, healthy recipes while also promoting the various players involved within our localized food systems processes. So with that being said, I would like to do nothing more than to introduce to all of you my near and dear friend who is Karen Elizabeth, who is the found, one of the founders and the president of the Plant City Community Gardens. First of all, just thank you so much for taking your time to be here with me. Oh, I'm excited. I, I love to show this off to, oh, to everyone. Yeah, they, she gave me an amazing tour of the grounds and the compounds and you're gonna see some bits and pieces of this beautiful facility throughout the course of this interview but i'm just so in excited and just so inspired and you know um ah i, I just i'm just jazzed <laughs> so you know my first question is um can you tell us uh, you know just tell us about yourself oh well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i was originally from ohio i moved to florida in 1985 um but Prior to that, when my children were tiny, I did some gardening. It sort of ran in the family and I had a little more opportunity in a more rural area to, to do that. Sure. So um, I, I started that and got very interested in nutrition at that time, moved to Florida, did the whole corporate life, had a business down here and kind of got to come back full circle when yeah. I retired. Got certified as a, a holistic health coach. Helped found this the, the community garden in uh, 2012, which originally started down in the historic district where we, we leased some space and moved to the space here at Plant City Community College um, space here that was available and awaiting our arrival, so to speak. Yeah, so, yes. uh -huh. yeah, yeah, wonderful. That's that's great. I'm also not a native of Plant City, but you know, somehow we all kind of find ourselves here in this wonderful community. So, um, you know, I guess I have a, a couple other questions. And, um, you know, first of all, can you tell us, um, because the point of this video is to highlight not just you, but the Plant City Community Gardens. But before we talk more about the garden, what is a community garden and what's the importance of that? Typically, community gardens are a group of people who come together and find a space and each individually or family grows the vegetables that they love the most during each season. So um, any sharing would be done um, individually. So it's, it's sometimes it gets confused that if it's a community garden, people think they can just stop by and purchase something sure. or take something. So the structure is a little different. We are part of the area coalition of community gardens. Oh, okay. So right now, in, primarily in Hillsborough County, uh, we have 18 gardens established. Oh, wow. Right? And that sounds like a lot, uh, unless you go to Portland or right, somewhere else sure. where they're like all over <laughs> yeah. the cities and, and all, you know nearly every corner. But, but uh, as the word gets out, people understand that they have a space uh, where they can join friends uh, and knowledgeable people if they need help Wonderful. growing things um, and bring their families in and uh, grow the things they love to eat and supplement their their food varieties. Wonderful. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's such an important system that we have in terms of cultivating food. So, you know, now looking here at Plant City, um, because for those of you that aren't from the Plant City area or aren't very familiar, Plant City is a very, um, it's a smaller scale city, but it's surrounded by big agriculture. So there's, and you can probably speak to that, there's <laughs> quite a bit of agricultural activity that occurs around here. So, you know, just kind of giving that background. Um, Karen, can you tell us what was, what is, how long has this community, you said 2012, correct? And what was the history of kind of the evolution of this garden? Well, to me, it, it was at some point prior to 2012, yeah. I had an intention that we should have a community garden here. I'd been to a number of them and and I, I wanted to have a space exactly like I described yeah. for the community to come together to um, 
share yeah and grow grow their own, their own food so uh, as it turned out I ended up being acquainted with three other folks oh, okay who had the same intention three people I didn't know at the time wow. so you know intentions are important yes they are and um, so we that's what happened and we um, we reached uh, the Episcopal Church reached out to us okay. on a Baker Street in the historic room. They leased us some space oh, there, wonderful. and that's that's how we got that's how we got started. Um, when our lease was up in three years, they needed that space back. There's sure. a building there they needed for their youth group, and uh, so in 2015, we, this came together with um, Hillsborough Community College, and we have an amazing space here. It's incredible. It's something everybody needs to visit. And you can visit this. It's basically open to um, visit every day. Yeah. Sunrise to sunset. And it's free. So Yes. <laughs> it's I'm telling you folks, it, whether you're from the Plant City area or even just the Central Florida area or beyond and you find yourself in this little corner of Florida, I really recommend that you take some time to view this facility because I kid you not, it is awesome just very very awesome so Karen um you know if you were to describe what this entire garden facility entails to someone that has never stepped foot in here what should someone expect to find what are some of the features of this garden uh, it's gonna be more than you expect uh, there's a whole botanical area here with some beautiful pathways this gazebo to rest in or just contemplate life. Um, there's examples of all kinds of Florida friendly trees and plants, uh, Florida natives, things that bloom, things that grow 40 feet tall, um, and our space with the community garden beds. And we have another space that we grow food to share with uh, the community, like the food bank. Okay. Um, and the, the groups that, that prepare meals for the hungry. So um, we like being involved. Um, we have a lot of programs that we've developed here okay. in the short time we've been here. So we have a permaculture program. Um, for those that don't know what yeah. permaculture is, it's, it's worms, earthworms. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we have a food forest. We have a new aquaponics system that's installed, an heirloom seed library. These are all wonderful things for the community to come in and learn about. We have lots of workshops. Oh, good. Um, and usually those are published on our website, which is plantcitycommunitygarden.com. So workshops, and we're, we're very active out here, and we're always, always embracing new members or to find out how to become a member of the garden or a volunteer. Very important part yes. of what happens here. Yes, yes. Now, one thing that I saw around here, because you mentioned a lot of things, like the you have a fruit forest, <laughs> which it was pretty cool. Like, what are some of the things growing in there? Oh my goodness. So again, all Florida friendly and some things that people may not know that you can grow here in Central Florida and, and in our community for that matter. So uh, bananas, which mm -hmm. is a, an easy one for us here. Um, it's not an apple. Lemongrass, we have a couple of varieties of apples, a couple of varieties of plums. Uh, pears. Um, you love those Asian, beautiful golden Asian pears, oh, yes, right? Those are good. Uh, mulberries, mm. pomegranate, uh, persimmon, oh my goodness, loquat, uh, a couple of different kinds of a bush type cherry that grows well here. So, surprise, surprise. Yeah. I was very surprised about the apples. So, that kind of really blew my mind. Apples and pears, that, that really blew my mind on really what can grow here in Florida, especially in this region. That's stop by and look at the varieties. Yeah. They're all labeled, and if there's a fruit tree that you need to put in your yard, this would be a great place to to check these yeah. out and choose a variety like we have here. Now there are a couple things I remember as we were going on the tour that I saw. One was um, a bat house, and I saw a, a little wetland facility. Can you tell tell us a little bit more about those features? The, the bat house was was part of what was here. So, but it is another thing that that actually people can do in their homes or in the community. Um, bat houses are great to attract the bats that we typically get here because they eat lots of insects and they do not bite people. Mm. 
So they're very beneficial. They're also pollinators yeah. um, that we're not familiar with. We have a wetland area across the, the, the east side of the botanical garden okay. here that runs north and south. And it became a project of a member here who mapped its its destiny and its progress from Plant City all the way out to the Gulf. So it matters what gets in our water yes. system here. So and it's it's a beautiful little little hidden part. It has its its own signage with information on it about how it travels from here out out to Tampa Bay and then obviously into the Gulf. So. It was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little just charming little oasis of space. Um, now, one thing I, I would, you know, for me personally, when I picture a community garden, one of the first things that kind of comes to mind are, you know, plots for people to, um, I guess, I don't know if I'd say rent out space, but how does that work here? Yeah, we have um, great spaces. Uh, they're approximately six feet by 12 feet. Oh, that's good. Right? Um, yeah, it's thirty-five dollars a year. <laughs> That's less expensive. than the groceries I bought yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's it includes wonderful soil mix that, that we use here, and and they're irrigated. So, gosh, you know, even if you feel like you're cramped with time and oh, I wouldn't have time to do that. It's that's ridiculous. I mean, they're irrigated. If yeah. you can only be out here once a week or so, then then you're gold. I mean, that's you have a, a, a space that that's almost self-sustaining. You will have to show up. That they do get weeds. Yeah. <laughs> there's a little maintenance to that, but there's a, a, a bound, abundance of joy, yeah. self-fulfillment, and health that comes just from tending to sure. that. Sure. Sure. So if someone were interested in wanting to become a member of the community garden what are some of the benefits of that particularly here oh well obviously uh, seasonally you can grow whatever vegetables yes. that are your favorites or your family's favorites sure mm -hmm. lettuces oh my gosh you will never want to buy lettuce at the store again no. if you're growing your own your own lettuces yeah. they're just amazing uh, there's just something about you grab that and you eat it right away and the ener the energy oh my gosh the energy that, mm -hmm. that just emits from those even before you eat them. It's, sure. It's, it's something to be experienced. And I would, you know, and study search that it's also healthier oh, too. Yes, it's way healthier. It's all organic. Yeah. Everything here is done uh, with very little input. Uh, even even the organic fertilizer, it's yeah. still minimal. That So there's no pesticides, no sprays. I mean, you can pick it, eat it right out of your garden bed. It's so like, it's just like, nature wanted yeah. you to have it so sure yeah. now a more personal question for you Karen is there a favorite uh, crop or maybe some plants here at the garden is there some like maybe a favorite corner of course here what could that oh be? A favorite of mine <laughs> yes oh my gosh well I'm all over the place yeah. here all the time <laughs> so um, I, I love starting seedlings up in we have a greenhouse facility here and we have seedling workshops and there's just something fascinating about taking that seed that's full of amazing information, yeah. right? I mean, DNA in there. I know, and boy, it, you go in there and it's it's in that wonderful soil, and you watch it do what it's supposed yeah. to do. It's rewarding. You know, it's that's that's a that's a fun thing for me. I I love the shade cloth area over there, just to sit. And and from there you can see a lot of all the vegetable growing spaces. Oh. I love this gazebo. It's, yeah, it's peaceful. Bring your little bag of lunch out here yeah. or a book or whatever. Um, uh, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> There's so yeah, many. Yeah, I mean, There's so it's many. hard. It's hard to choose one thing here. So you want to do a little, you know, meditation. Yes. We have a little Zen garden. We have the succulent garden, which is like you. That was one of your favorites. It is. Places. I really yeah. love succulents and cacti <laughs> and just desert plants. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> so I've mentioned a lot of little hidden gems that are yes. in here that you could seek out. Yes. Uh, and, and check out with with yeah. the stroll. Yeah. Uh, anytime. Saturday's a great time to come. There's usually a lot more activity on Saturday. If you don't want activity, boy, just pick a spot during the weekend. So it's introvert friendly. So you oh, know, I absolutely want to get absolutely. away from people. Introvert. I love you all, but you know, sometimes I feel introverted. And, you know, maybe after a long day, you may want to just find somewhere to 
know, con quietly contemplate and meditate upon your life, or maybe read a book, or uh, what's that? That exercise? Is it Tai Chi? Tai Chi? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Sure. Yeah. We maybe are looking here. to have maybe have some yoga classes start oh, here. This is yeah. the perfect spot for it. Oh, over there under. Oh yeah, it would be so cool. Yeah. So. Anybody out there that knows yeah. an instructor that wants to contact us, yeah. we'll start. I have lots of people going, when are you going to have yoga classes out there? Yeah. So, so, um, okay, so let's think from a practicality standpoint. Um, say you are the average person like myself and I want to do more in my life. And I it may, be, may not have a lot of money, but I want to do more in my life just to eat more sustainably and locally. So with this desire that I have, Karen, or maybe anyone else, what are maybe two or three pieces of, or words of wisdom you would offer to someone like me? Well, first thing I would say is find local. Yes. Um, and, and find local and fresh is gonna be definitely criteria. You need to take it to another level organic yeah for sure you know find find folks that are growing organically it may just not be a, a farm like you might imagine it sure had. it could be somebody who just has a couple acres and they're actually growing food like that so um, uh, you'll have to connect with those folks out there um, we have eco farm uh, yes. that's local and they've been growing wonderful food for oh, yes. 20, 30 some years. And be they're fun. at the Lakeland Farmer's yes, Market every Saturday. Yes, I think it starts at, like it's from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. every Sounds Saturday right. in yeah. Lakeland. Sounds about right. Um, and there's lots of other crafting yeah. and cottage food things that sure. are available out there. Sure. So um, there's Farmer's Market where you can find just those, those things I mentioned too at Temple Terrace and I think that's yeah. a Saturday market yes, it as is. well. Yes, it is. Uh, there's some monthly markets around um, Seminole Heights, yeah. Pie Park. Mm -hmm. So if you you look up um, Google, yeah, <laughs> Google farmers markets that are local, you'll you'll find things. And most of those places you're gonna find farmers um, and vendors that have this fresh seasonal produce. Yeah, and fresh is key. Yes, it is. It, is. it really is. It there's really even flavor-wise, there's no comparison. Oh, and if you're getting heirlooms, not even bumping up your nutritional value oh, on top yeah. of that. So I mentioned we have an heirloom seed library. So if you're interested in growing a few things at home, even if it's in a container, stop by on Saturdays and look through our seed library and choose some things that you can grow um, at home, if that's what you want to do. That's and amazing. we can talk to you about saving a few seeds and then bringing them back again that there's a real amazing. interesting yeah it's a real interesting Beautiful thing cycle. that happens is that the more often we cycle those heirlooms yeah <clears throat> each season and back and out again that plant actually becomes accustomed to growing exactly in this environment in our community it's like it, it, it restructures becomes, the dna it does it plants are way better than that than people <laughs> yes yes and it's true it, and it just makes me think yeah. like you know with you talking about the seed library you know i would say i feel like when most people think of a library you're thinking of books right which is wonderful support your local libraries <laughs> but seed libraries exist too and that is an entity in and of itself and what an important resource to have what it, an important it, it's resource it's an awesome program and i'd like to see more involvement with yeah. folks doing that understanding that and how important it is to preserve our heirlooms since 94 percent have vanished that's in, a lot in cultivation in the world it's a lot 94 percent 94 that means six percent of all heirloom varieties exist at this time that we know that's staggering about. that's disturbing so any of you who has a great great uncle or a great great grandfather who left a can of seeds or something behind don't throw them away. No. All right. Do not Let's bring them here. We'll research them, and we yeah. might have we might have discovered a whole new variety yeah. to, to add to. And it's also a great way to connect with your family members, and maybe your great uncle or your great aunt, or maybe your next door neighbor who you know has been growing quite a bit. It's it seems like just a great way just to connect with someone and 
you know, start that conversation and just really cultivate community in that way too. So I guess my last question for you is, um, maybe you live in the Plant City area or maybe not too far from here and you're just now finding out about this amazing community garden ground you have and someone wants to get involved um, and they want to come visit, how can they do all that? Uh, well, I told you how to visit and that's yeah. pretty much any day of the week. Uh, you're very welcome to always call me. Okay. Uh, and my telephone number is 813-435-8111. And what's the address here? Ah, we are on the south side of the HCC Plant City campus, and the physical address is 2001 East Cherry Street, and that's in Plant City. Yes. Uh, it's right off of Park Road and right off of exit 22 by 4. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, folks, I'm going to have all the information, the website listed and the Facebook information listed for the Plant City Community Gardens. And I'll have that com uh, contact information listed below. So um, for any of you folks that are really intrigued and want to learn more, please visit this site and visit the online resources. But Karen, just thank you so much for your time. I had such a wonderful I'm so happy you came out here. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this is going to get out there for other people yes, to see. Yes, yes. If you look us up on Facebook, um, you'll need to look for Plant City Commons. Okay. The whole name of the garden actually is Plant City Commons Community Garden. Okay. Commons being a really key word. And, and uh, the commons in a city yeah. and history were a place where people gathered yeah. in town. So we incorporated that as part of our name. So Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks for having me. Thank you. The visit. Thank you. What a treat. Well, thank you. All right, folks, take care. Have a wonderful day. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Your support will mean the world to me. Thank you.